Hi, Waukegan. I'm Nick Alizakis, Director of Communications and Chief of Staff for Waukegan Public Schools, and this is 60 and 60 for the week of February 28th. Thanks for joining us. Earlier this week, we shared a big update regarding our indoor mask guidance. Under new guidance put forward by the CDC and recommendations of local health officials, masks will be recommended but not required in all District 60 buildings and school buses. Masks are still required on PACE buses. The change officially took effect this week and will be ratified by board vote next week. Please know that we will continue to monitor for any changes in guidance and will adjust our policies if needed. More information regarding our policy as well as our rationale for this implementation can be found on our district's website. Time is running out for parents to take the Illinois Five Essential Survey. This important 20-minute survey helps identify specific strengths and weaknesses in learning environments of schools throughout the state. Parents can find links in their emails as well as on their school websites. Survey deadline is March 11th. Our families will again have the opportunity to save money on their energy bills by attending this weekend's energy fair. The event will take place March 5th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Whittier Elementary. During the event, representatives from Community Action Partners will assist families in applying for Illinois' Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. Qualified families are asked to bring proof of income, their energy bills, and an identification. Contact FACE at WPS60.org for more information. This weekend, we will be hosting a final round of vaccine clinics in partnership with the Illinois Department of Public Health at Lyon and Clearview Elementary Schools. Both clinics will take place on Saturday, March 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The clinics are open to all individuals ages 5 and above, and vaccinations will be available by appointment or walk-in. Additional information, including registration details, can be found on our website. That's all for this week. Thank you for joining us, and be sure to tune in each week for all the news and events happening in Waukegan Public Schools.